my channel for those of you visiting and don't know who I am. I am so grateful for you that reached out to me this week. When you did a day, what happened? And all of that. You don't know all of who takes me. <laughs> so let's see with another hero person video because I really know that I owe y'all one. On the last one, I messed up towards the result. in three ways low porosity normal porosity and high porosity now we're starting off with low porosity low porosity the cuticle layer is tightly packed and flat think of it like shingles on a roof the cuticle like shingles are tightly packed together to protect the roof making it difficult for water to pass it's the same with people that has low porosity here and that is why it's so hard for water to for moisture to absorb into the hair okay so there it is guys you can see that the hair sank to the bottom of the bottle and i just cut off the top of a water bottle and did it Fill it up with some room temperature water and put your hair in it. If the hair floats on the top, then you have low porosity here. If it settles like in the middle or so, it's normal. And if it floats to the bottom, settle in the bottom, then you have high porosity. Now the first time I check it, for those of you who watched my first hair porosity video, you'll see that I said I had low porosity here, but for some reason, that's why um, double checking sometimes is better. I don't know if it was a container or I just don't know what happened the first time, but it was at the top. I didn't do nothing this time and it flew to the bottom, which finalized it that I have high porosity here. But saying this doesn't mean that I don't have issue with my hair getting real dry real quick my hair dries out real quick i really think sometimes i have um low porosity but it proves to me now that i have high porosity which means my hair is easier to absorb moisture which is good but um you know a lot of times my hair dries out so easily um so i'm a little confused with that but i'm happy to know that i finalized it and I hope you guys go and check yours too. A little advice, people with low porosity try to stay away from heavy oils, for example, coconut oil. Stick to light oils like grapeseed oil, almond oil, sunflower seed oils, oils like that that won't stick on top of your hair. And so your hair won't be moisturized and it will be easy to break just the same. But people with normal and high porosity here, you can use pretty much any oil because your hair is so easy to absorb moisture and so it won't sit really on your hair. And for until now, until then, thank you guys. I love you all. And for the ones that pushed me this week, like I wanna see the video. Okay, I love you all.